and we appear to be Here. back. Dude, stop. Leave the mouse alone. Oh, sorry. Didn't realize I had Parsec active. Okay. Okay, we appear to be back. I'm calling it the Curse of Lude. The Curse of Lude. I mean, the reason I haven't been hosting is because my internet is not able to do Parsec and streaming, but if no one else can do it, this is going to be a fun Spirit Island Saturdays experience for all. Um, you see, this is just it. Mine's been fine up until now. It's, me. it's because it's just yep, me. Yeah, I'm blaming you. Uh, so I could do presence into B4, take out that explorer, if I could somehow finagle taking out that city or town. I could take out the town in the slow phase. Oh, and we'll have a place presence for somebody. Um, I will have a damage from Firestorm and a land with Blight, though. And that's not going to be B4. Hmm. I, I want to do something with B4, because if they build a town in Ravage, that's too Blight. Which, I mean, Wildfire loves Blight, but... kind of want to contain the Blight... A little bit, since I place Blight myself. Uh. Um, I can only play one card. I don't know. It's just um, asphyxiating smoke. Wait, no, range to it we're already doing um, Sweden too. So if you kill the town, they won't do two blight. They'll they'll only do one. Right, but I have to do something in there. But yeah, if I just kill the town, there would only be, be one blight, and that's fine. I want a blight in the land anyway. Um, so I could move towards B eight, I guess. Because uh, your thing is range yep. one, right? Yeah. So I think we'll do range one presence. Place it there. And destroy a town range two in the slow phase. And this will allow me to kill that town. Yes. The town in B6 rather. Yes. Okay. Uh, you want to go for okay. green now? Oh, no, I can't kill the town B6 because it doesn't have blight. Dang it! Okay. So I have a damage and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, well. So let's see. So I could gather... Oh, range one from Sacred Site. Oh, I haven't done my no. growth yet. Duh. What I want to do is to be able to get into C1 so I can push from there. I can do that with either of those two options. Mm -hmm. Probably want the energy to start with, though. I don't need that. 
that could affect A3, although you're there. I guess I guess I have stuff happening in A4 though. That does replace a city with a town, which is nice. Uh, A3 is taken care of. Okay. I could mantle a dread and well mantle a dread and C1 even, but actually oh but you're not in land A. But we were thinking of pushing the town from C1 into the ocean. Yeah. With tidal boon. I'm guessing it's crops wither in C4 on the city. Mantle of Dread to push the town in the city, and then there's only a town in there left over. Which isn't the best. I could take a power next turn and maybe get some defense, though. Uh, anything I can do with this? If I'm playing those, I'm using all my fire powers, so I won't have this next round anyway. That's annoying. To just go for super fear. But then I'd just be sacrificing my presence there. I don't know. I can't really see any other lands. I guess this is just the town, yeah. right? Yeah. Like I can. Uh, oh, but you're you're done with a three, right? Can I somehow see d six? Uh, that's. Well, I guess I could just target a land of dawn. Yeah, if I have three energy, yeah, then that would work. I also have range three presence, so yeah, I would be able to do it anyway. Uh, I want two card plays. Probably want sacred sites. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. I need to be in yeah C one. <laughs> I need to be in C one. That deals with the land. That deals with the land. That gives us lots of fear. I can gather into D7. Yes. I'm good. Okay. Are you good? Yep. All right. So who needs to go first? Um, Green, I think. Because he's got to proliferate wildfire. Um, thinking. Yeah, there's no land with blight that has an invader, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Um, they're not needed there. They're not gonna be needed in D6 either. Okay. Um. Gonna push them towards the coast, maybe? Mm, you don't want to hunt on the coast. Not on the mm. coast? I'll just push them in this land. Deal with the lands that are coast to the coast. The coast's coast. Okay. <laughs> uh, then it's all you. It's all me? Alright. I will do damage in a land with flight, except I can't really. And then I'm gonna gather at the cost of one energy into that land. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess I am allowing that build. I guess since it's Sweden, we probably do want Dahan to be grouped together, so putting it in B7 would have made sense, but that's fine. I can push Dahan when I put presents, so I think that's okay. fine. We're going into the sands. That was their first mistake. They almost don't explore into A7, but A8 is a thing. Yep, and it will be for a while. Oh, look, there's no invaders in the sands for you. Yay! A bit too late, though. Okay. Uh, I guess that was. I'll be able to do something with him next turn. 
Yeah, I would stop the build. So, so I was giving Tidal Boon to Shadows. Mm-hmm. And we're going to target this land. Push that explorer there. Nom noms! And I think that that Dahan should stay there for death by okay. Dahan. Okay, field choked with green. He's going in here to push a town. Yeah, it's not your ocean. Oh, or it's not ocean's not on crap, there. I forgot that. Uh, I'll push it into here. That was silly of me. Creep is tearing to water. Oh well. Seamus did a silly and I didn't do a silly. Well, I guess I've already done a silly, but that's besides the points! And then... Okay, all yours. I will destroy the town here. Cool. Now that's gonna blight, but that's calculated. Uh, could push from this land. You want these guys to clo to go closer to the coast. And we want to turn that city into a town because it's easier to manage. All right. Okay. So wildfire presence first, just because of blight or... Yeah. There's there's a guy in B three that needs to be dealt with. Do you still have Call of the Deep? Do. do you? But you might have another spot you want to use it. Maybe not though. It's the only other sand is C two. The only other coastal sand is C two. So maybe I'll just leave that for you. Mm -hmm. Um, A seven stops that build. I'm currently at two fire, so I'm dealing two damage. I could stretch into B7, D7, 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 yeah, and take out the town. One, two. Um, we're not on terror level two yet. Uh, no, you can't reach D7. It's four way, not three. Uh, from B8. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, I was just looking at the stack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I was looking at chunky stacks. My only <laughs> presence on the board. But yeah, if I gain power card and place presence range three, I'd be able to hit D seven. D four is also a uh, is also a concern. Flame's Fury would deal three damage with this innate if I have enough card plays, right? If I have two card plays, I play two fire cards plus my two innate fire, that's four damage. Or, or sorry, four fire, so two damage plus one would be three. I could use that to take out a city. Or I just use this with four fire and do two damage to the two explorers there. Lots of options. Lots of options. Any other damaging effects we have here? And they look like it. Um. 
Well, if I'm going if I'm going to go into D7, I'd be gaining a power card. So I'm going to go ahead and take this route and gain a power and see what it is. Hmm. It's definitely minor. There's a fire card. There's a plant card. All of these cost one energy. One damage per Dahan is interesting. Yeah, actually it is. That would take out the town that they put in D7, or B, A7. <laughs> uh, well, I guess they also have to deal with, with B5. And I thought maybe that was, I was thinking my innate was going there. Or maybe I just ignore them and they suffered the consequences of their actions. Uh, I'm going to go with Call the Bloodshed. That's the better card that deals damage based on Dahan, because mm -hmm. the other one is one damage to a different invader, which is less good. So I'll just go ahead. Two card plays there, take out town, stops the city from building. Pushing Dahan. Uh, Is there. I th there's no jungle adjacent. I thought you wanted to leave them there for. Uh, killing later. Could do threatening flames in B five. I guess. And call the bloodshed in either A seven or B seven. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what. I don't know. Seems like I'm a bit stretched thin here yeah. but there's four other three other spirits there's four other spirits um but this is a cooperative game yeah. it's not all one spirit it's four spirits working in tandem game. who invoke fear into the terrible invaders This is Settlers of Catan, but you're the wheat and you're demented. <laughs> hmm. uh, do you have C4 covered this turn? Um, that's the jungle in the north yep. northeast. I was relying on a power card that gave defense. <laughs> so yes, you do. In what case? I mean, if it blights, it's fine. It's fine. We'll have a destroyed presence that we could then, you know, put on the board with another po major power. Okay, Ooh. I'm looking for defend two. Hmm. Don't think I need that. Yeah. I need to get some presents over here. And yeah, I'll let it go over there next. OK, 
Okay, that was all on me. Right. So Shadows needs a power to hope to get lucky with. There's defense. Yep. If all I want is defense, that's it. If I want something that gives me elements, uh, there's not many options here other than fire and air. Steam vents, because John. Damage based on blight, which is good in a wildfire game. But no, I want that defense. It's also zero energy, so that's good. Yep. And I could do three card plays. Oh. But I have to have zero energy per turn, and I'd be in a reclaim loop for a bit. So I'm going to err on the side of caution here. Uh, you don't need to. Because next turn... I next don't? turn... Um, I will be able to proliferate you. Ah. Okay, well then I'll go for three card plays then. I'll, I'll probably have to reclaim next turn anyway, so might as well just play all my cards! Mm -hmm. Do I need to be somewhere? Do I need sacred sites for any of these? What am I even playing? I'm playing all my, hand, all my, all my hands, yes. Uh... Dahan take no damage from ravaging invaders. Is there a land where that's relevant? Probably not. It's zero energy though, so I'm playing it for elements. Defend five, I want. Dahan gathering. Yes. Uh, but we know where that's going, and this could be range one. Probably want to get these singletons out of the way. Or not out of the way, yeah. but bunching up uh not so that they're at risk of sweden eden eat sweden eden. <laughs> sweden eden oh my god <laughs> only i do the nom noms here <laughs> um i don't think it matters for that though i'm just gonna keep doing sacred sites because my one of my effects cares about sacred sites like this mm. effect right yeah I guess it would be better to be in the jungle, though. A bit more visibility. Because, yeah, I still see everything, but now I see the jungle. Jungle A3. And this is range one now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's all the growth. Yep. We finish playing cards. Uh, uh, do you want to need to deal with that? Mm -hmm. And they're ravaging. And then I need to overgrow somewhere. Um, defend to anywhere that I can reach. It's just from your sacred site, and that's. Not seeing much other than okay. your jungle. Yep. Oh. That's going to make a difference there. Defense. And Dahan don't take damage in that land too. Alright, we're getting a fear card. Um, I forget what all I wanted to do and where. Uh, if I do Firestorm in... B in D7 and I do Threatening Flames in B5, that would be yeah, that would just stop both of those builds mm -hmm. ooh you're pushing the guy out of um, B5 
Ah, uh, yeah, so you can call yep. the deeps him. Yeah. yeah go ahead. So we're now going to rewind 15 card plays. I'm going to rewind until I see Call of the Deeps flashing. That's as far back as we need yep. to go, which was literally the first action, so. Okay. <laughs> All right, so then we'll Threatening Flames, the Explorer, into B1. And I'll do this for you. Om nom 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 nom. nom. So Grasping Tide into T2. Yeah, Grasping Tide was there. Overcrow in the night was there. Yep. And it came off of car plays. Okay. And then this one didn't matter. Okay. Oh, right. And my defense and my Dahan can't deal damage. Can't take damage. Or can't be dealt damage. Yes, that, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> it's a small difference. So we can put each player may push into a land more. Oh. Okay. That stops. Oh, but I guess we're going to deal yeah. with that, <laughs> weren't we? Um, um. Would there be a different place for me to use Call to Bloodshed in? No. I could do it in B6. So we could just stop that build and still yep. use Call to Bloodshed to do something. Shove it into the jungle. And then the one in C6, shove it into uh, A4. Oh yeah, we've got four of them to do from. Okay. Push those two, um, <laughs> those two explorers now into A two. Uh, oh, oh, from yep. the sands. Okay. And then I will be able to numb on them later. For some reason, my brain forgot there was four. Um, Four spirits. Because you were thinking yep. there's two players. But it's four spirits. I mean, it does say each player may, so really it should be two. Because <laughs> it's two players. Alright, and they are exploring. Wetlands. In... wetlands. Wetlands. Yep, they're seeing everything. Excuse me. Oh yeah, stem flow doesn't work because I don't have a sacred site. Womp that. Um Is there any land I am in where one damage to a town or city makes a difference to anything you'll do? Um my only damage is called a bloodshed. And I was gonna be going into B6. Okay. Sorry. So keep us down to more, it doesn't There's matter. No. Yeah. That's a shame. I'll just do this. One damage per. Boom, boom. Alright, now this one. If invaders are present and Dahan now outnumber them. So I want them to go into C5. Or. C1, I guess, would also work for that. Wait, what am I doing? No, I'm not doing... Oh, no, yeah, this is Dawn Gathering, not Explorer Gathering. Uh, um, yeah, so, like, if I want to get these two singleton Dahans yep. in a land with Explorers, it's going to be, either, yep. like, the two options are two lands, but this one has Explorers. So it's going to be these. Oh, fear. Okay, and uh, Burn Land regrows. It's gonna go into super blight land because that's that's the mm -hmm. two or more. Yeah, and that's the only land. 
Okay. So that's everything. Finish anyway, because keep his turn into mortal won't do anything. Warning! 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 Alright, this is the first escalation turn if it's, you know, not coastal. Okay. It looks like we had a lot of reclaims here. Yep. Ooh, blight. Um, guess that's the song thank you T for green. And I can't put my presence into there, so I will want to take from the top. I'm going to need to in there to stop that next turn. Um, uh, I was giving you the presence play. I was giving Shadows the presence play, wasn't I? Um. Yeah, I forget you were doing something with presence for Shadows. I forget what it was. It just give me a presence so I can do something. I don't know. Okay. Because I'm just, well, well, there, I'm just looking at the moment and I can prevent the Ravage in A4, but I need to overgo in the night. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the energy to do both. Yeah, I think I don't need that presence. I don't think it's going okay. to really do anything for me. I'm not sure. And then... It depends on what power cards I find with shadows. Go ahead. And maybe welfare. It's definitely reclaim all. It's definitely gain of power. Lure of the unknown. A. Oh no! Literally every single one of the elements, and it gathers into the yep. ocean. I see no reason to not take that card. It's free, it's long range. Something else gives me better elements. Yeah, I think it's Lure of the Unknown. Okay. I have three card plays. And lots of zero energy fast powers. Um... That's defend five. That could defend C two entirely. I'm not sure what what the plan is for that one. Uh, I didn't have one forward yet. Okay. Um, doing that means Ocean doesn't have to do to put in. Actually, Ocean's only got uh, defend four for that. So yeah. I mean, if we gather the, the town or the explorer, probably the town, and then did defend four, that would yep. work. But we could do this somewhere else and stop a build. It's probably just those two then. And then one of these. Spirit may push an explorer and a town from one of their lands. Hmm. Om noms. Om noms. Because A2 is going to be a bit of a wreck, isn't it? Um... I guess you could always just prevent that ravage. That's what but... I was going to be doing, but if you can do anything to shove stuff out of it in the meantime. 
I'll do that. I don't know. I would probably just go energy gain here. I mean, I need energy to play flash fires, mm -hmm. uh, but these two kind of don't gel well together currently. Is there damage effects happening? Flame's Fury on green is yep. really good, right? <laughs> uh, except you don't have that repeat. Um, give me one second. Sure. Wait, no, I need a second moon card, and I don't have one that I can play. So no, it won't. It won't be on repeat this turn. Well, it would still, it would still kill it a would tail. increase flash fire's damage to two, and it would give me... I would have four fire, so I'd be doing three damage here, but in a land with blight, which, well, I mean, I place a presence, it be becomes a land with blight. Problem is, this is not going to be fast. Otherwise, I'd be able to deal with D4 entirely. I can at least take out the town and make it do four damage so it doesn't double the light. Okay. Um, the annoying thing is I need blight for the firestorm. There's no blight in B6. Why is there no blight in B6? Urgh. And I could place a presence to add blight, but I'd also take out the town. Or, sorry, take out the explorer. Yeah, I think I'm going to gain energy here. Next turn is a reclaim turn. So three card plays next turn? Sure. We'll figure out the energy game someday. I'll do it in the land without a Dahan. Okay. Sleeves the nuns. So, I I need to play the defend card for... Nope, you've got some, some, some multitudes. Yeah, I got C2 covered. And I can't reach that one, so I wanted... And... I think I'm going to title Boon Green. And shove more stuff out of um, A2. Yeah, I'm not in land. Okay, I think that's everything. Alright. Let's see who wins. Me I you. just realized it's now competitive Spirit Island. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I just realized um, if you want to put the presence in D3 somewhere else, I can uh, just gather those two explorers. Yeah, I think you gained a power card though, so we can't oh, do that. Great. Whoops. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, um, I'm still going to prevent that other thing, and, ooh, two fear. And then, ooh, going, knight is going in there. 
Um, Defend two. Does nothing useful. Yeah. Town. I can just gather this guy into that yep. Sam's, I guess. So I was doing this on myself. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be three damage now, but only in the land I'm in. So really, that just leaves this. Oh no, it doesn't have blight. Okay, well. In that case, oh no, you were doing that for flash fright. Yeah, it's still going to. Um... Stop. Oh yeah, I guess I was going to use flash fires in D two in D four, wasn't I? <laughs> but I forgot that it, that's slow. Oh well. All right, let's see. Escalation? Mountains. Uh, yes. And there will be escalation. In C1. <sighs> and A6, oh. and in... Oh, yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're equal. C, C3, it's kind of literally the worst. Three escalations in one turn. That's a world record. Okay, then. Okay, so. If you want to go ahead with uh, yours first. Let's see what I need to do here. Uh. I could wipe out B7 with flash fires. Although there's these lands here that are problematic too. I'm just gonna focus on the Ravage problems first. Yep. Oh no, it's just two damage, right? But that's fine, because that's Death by Dawn. And Burned Land regrows, and the only land that I can do it in. Mantle of Dread, push an explorer in a town from a land. Um, that's just gonna be green. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do it from here. Okay. Uh, I was expecting a coastal push, but that also works. Because we can we just prevent that ravage, but. Yep. Oh wait, there's two towns there. There's nothing. And that does nothing. Alright, now we start doing super things. Or we don't start doing super things. I'm not sure yet. Wildfire is reclaiming. I'll do that first. Uh, is four energy enough for a major? Eh. Uh, so I'm going to go minor. No plants. Only one fire. No, sorry, there's two fire and one air. It's 
probably just going to be called a migrate. That will help with getting our Dahan where we want them to be to prevent escalations. Yeah. Gives me an air for flash fires. Gives me an air for this thing someday. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the problem is I don't have really anything in my lands unless we can push into my lands or something. So, like, this isn't doing anything because there's no land with Blight that has explorers in my presence. There is no land with invaders and blight in my land. We could try to do some super combo with Call to Bloodshed. Gather three, push three, and then Call to Bloodshed somewhere. Yep. That'll be in the slow phase, though. That's fine. Not everything has to happen in the fast phase. <laughs> I just want. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to help. Hold a second. Uh, I can proliferate you this turn. Ah, okay. And then I would have a land with my presence in blight. If I proliferate into B1, that takes out the town. Actually, it would wipe the whole field if I did card plays track. But that's already Death by Dahan, so I don't need that. Um, death by Dahan. Take out the town, Death by Dahan. And then these, these two problems over here. Uh, I should be able to solve both of those. Okay. And then as far as the builds go, I'm not sure. to sacred site destroy town I want a plant so it's probably going to be one of these probably want to keep the air card for flash fires so we're either well I can't really use that so I guess it's going to be flames fury so try to build up green for flames fury use I guess um okay Actually, then again, I don't even need to play a plant because I don't have valid... Or maybe I do. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Um, so I need to push. Uh, I want to play three cards, so... Um, I don't care about that, so I want no monster. So there. Tide comes in, tide comes out. No, I need a minor power because I need something for forgetting. Or I could just get another really good ocean card. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pull beneath the hungry ocean. So, uh, do you have B1 solved? Mm. Uh, you put a presence yeah. there. That's why I was doing it. Um, Cause I mean, I was originally thinking put I put a presence there and do damage, but if I do that, I take out your presence. Yeah, um, I was think I thought we were looking at putting your presence into D four and solving that problem, or B seven. D four. The sands yep. one? Just clear that out. Let me just take that, I think. Ooh, and I get to Nomi City this turn. 
And I've just been focusing mm. more on the ravages and the builds. Ooh, that's um, true. But oh well. Actually, I don't know if there's anywhere that I could. No, there's nothing that's going to take care of it. Okay. Um, and. So that's ocean and wildfire shadows. Energy. I think it's energy. This is range three. What am I doing and where do I want it to happen? <laughs> um, stopping Don from taking damage isn't doing anything. Range zero could affect the on land and that just gathers. Range one. Uh, where do we need to get Dahan moved out of? Let's see, they already explored the mountains. So it's really any of the other three land types. Yep. So the wetlands on, B, on land B are a bit risky. Um, Although I guess we're going to bloodshed and migrate them, probably. Probably. Uh, that's safe, that's safe. So we don't want to do... Wetlands are fine. Um, that guy over in the mountain? Fine. Mountain C3? They're not going to explore into the mountains anymore. So it's just the jungle. But the jungle is also safe. So I, I, we're, we're good. They explored into the single land type that we weren't prepared for. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I could still take the guy out of the mountains, I guess, to save him or something. Yeah. Um, don't want to do anything with these four down on here. I feel like that would be a bit better. Throw them in a spot, and then I could have them not take damage in that spot. So while they might blight that spot, we would be able to take out the city and stuff. Yep. Just maybe putting in a D5 in a future turn or this turn. So I'd have to be range one, which I can get almost anywhere close to range one. Uh, so let's not go into land where wildfire might go someday. Uh, D6. Oops. Does this give me my tier three or tier two? It does not. Shoot. So I get a gather. That stops D eight at least. Okay. So now it's green. Green. So board like. Um, so I can do three money, or I can go to three car plays. I think three car plays is better. So this doesn't try to get the one damage to a town city as many times as you can, because I'm going to give you plus one. Uh, I can only do it once because I only have one moon card. So that's a good reason to take moon there. Uh, That's a moon card. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Uh, that means uh, wait. Crap! I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you're not going to get the three card plays now. No, it's. I was going to place uh, presence in C eight and A two. Oh, okay. Uh, just to solve those two problems, now I can only do one of them. Um. So 
it somewhere where that will be useful. We'll probably get a fear card. I mean, we're almost certainly getting a fear card. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I, sorry, I'm just looking at, is there somewhere where um, this would actually be useful? I can push up to three to half. That's fine. I can make use of that and get those three off the uh, coast. Okay. Ready? Ready, set, go. Okay, so I was going to proliferate you. I mean, you probably wouldn't be happy with it, but I could solve your C8 problem. Uh, <laughs> it's presence for green. It's not that big of a deal if it, if you, if it goes away. But I sure. think you wanted to put that presence somewhere where it was going to be able to allow you an 8 kill stuff as well. Mm-hmm. Because we got... F yeah, it's going to be 2 damage. Putting a presence, if I take the fire, is going to be 3 presence. That'll be 5 damage. Um, and I do actually want to... So, like, I have this... Yeah, I got to go into a land where there's more than one blight. So, D4. Or currently has one blight. Yeah, I guess it is going to be D4 then. And now it's going to Cascade, and, and oh, actually, no, I can just go here. Perfect. <laughs> that gives me another land where I have Blight. Yay! Give that to green. You get plus one damage with each damage dealing power. And I can actually do this in D4. Because that's death by Dahan anyway. So we'll do that. Yay. Okay, the grasping tide goes in here. What did that do? Oh, because I got an extra fire, so I have three damage now. Okay. Okay. We did that in the proper order. Uh, if you want to go shadows next. Um, that's fear. Gathers. Oh. Take this guy. Still fear in that land. All right, green. Uh, I can't reach there anyway. Yeah, there's no way it's just moved to hand. Wait, that's a silly place to move them, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to put it in the sands because of the explorer sands we lose okay. them. Sorry, I touched the mouse. That's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, you really don't want to move them out of the jungle, except to an empty sand. Yep, that's also... No, it has to... Oh, wait, I'll this. Okay. Pretty right. hard. That's your final answer. Yep. Turn to an all land with presence. Oh, good. Mine too. Yeah, your presence was saved. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Uh.
Okay. Explore to the sands. <laughs> it's good we didn't put them in A4 yep. then. Alright, so where are we going to be using your Creeper's Tear? I guess it's only in the land you're in, yep. so that's going to be an A8 a or A4. A4, most likely. Yeah. That stops the city build. Oh, I got it again. Yep. Um... Hmm. So I'm going to kill the town in here. Okay. Try to get the inner lands cleaned yep. up. Uh... Around a city! Which is going to be this one here. Um, so, Sons of Wetlands. There's lots of choices here. Plus only one damage. Hmm. That's done two damage. If it has your presence and its sands or wetlands, it's two damage. Yep, you just done one damage. Where? Okay. Uh, A4. Has my presence? Yeah, Is that's, it sands? That's, that's not your presence. It's oh, yes. Your presence. <laughs> uh, thank you. The wrong your. And I'll leave gift of power until we've done everything else. Use these things. Dahan gathering, replace city or with town or town with explorer. Gather push, damage, damage, and that's just going to happen there. Uh, that'll happen there. There we go. Yeah, so call to migrate, we're going to be using these Dahan. It's yep. actually, in retrospect, good that they didn't explore the wetlands because we would have lost that Dahan. Forgot that was <laughs> in the slow phase that I could deal with that. So I could take out B2 entirely by gathering into B1, pushing into B2. Yep. That's perfectly good. Means I don't have to worry about that ravage. Um, could take out the city in B7, but I could also just put a presence there and do a lot of damage. Not necessarily be defended, but do a lot of damage. Actually, I'll be able to do damage in the fa in the slow f in the fast phase with that, uh, or I could just push up. Yeah. Okay. There's options. Yeah, so I think what makes sense then is to do that.
I guess we would only need two Dahan in there, but we don't want an exposed Dahan. Nope. Theoretically, B5 is safe. And B4 is... Actually, no, they didn't explore jungle. B B5 would be safe now, but... Oh. I'm not range one of that. Shoot. Okay. All right. Never mind. We won't do that. Um... um kill the city in uh, B7, then. Yeah, if I do that, then I could put the, the presence there and kill the, explore, the town explorer with presence placement, so that would work, too. I'm clicking, and it's not accepting my clicks. zero uh, or I select a land with Dahan which there aren't actually many that C3. have things I guess I could select C3 Not outnumbered there. They would be outnumbered here. I guess the plan was to save the Dahan in C3, but I don't want to leave one Dahan behind in C5. Ooh, tower level two. Could I? I could just put three Dahan in there. And that would probably be fine. Let's do that instead. Actually, actually, you put two Dahan into there and then pull the one out of the mountain. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we'll do that. And that keeps Dahan numbers safe. I guess so, I guess no, because if they explore there, that would be three explorers versus three Dahan, which is the incorrect number. Yeah, it has at least as many invaders as Dahan, so I guess I could do something with one of those, with either gathering or pushing or something. I'm reclaiming on Shadows next turn anyway. Okay. Um, unless you've got a rather good argument, so I'm going to shove this on uh, Ocean. Go for it. Um, excellent, the whole kind of shit. For ocean. You will always have two water. No, actually, no, you won't. No, I'm just yeah, I will. But I'm just going to throw that away anyway for a major. <laughs> uh, Are you getting. Go ahead, Ocean. Go first. Because you're probably going to gain a power. Yeah. Actually, Shadows will also gain a power. Okay. Let's do the powers first before everything else so we don't run into the same situation we did where we can't rewind past the presence yep. placement. So Ocean is going to gain a major. Winds of Rust! Uh. Yeah, these aren't really these the are ones not Ocean we're for powers. Um... He's going to reclaim as well. Oh! There's an ocean power. You did in the wrong order, my yep. friend. Well, he's going to take jungle hungers anyway. Yeah, at least that's right for him. He's going to forget. Okay. Oh. Then Shadows is probably also going to do a power thing. Is zero energy enough for a major? Enticing Splendor is zero energy. 
here. Hmm. I'm gonna need to start getting energy, probably, you know, actually gain presence off the energy track, but... I don't know, I'm playing three cards that are zero energy this turn, basically. Um... Yeah, okay, yeah I can't spend. I'm also not gaining an energy from there now. Wood Gathering, Explore Town. Actually, possibly Purifying Pure. Flame. I mean, yeah, that's a good one. I just can't use it yep. right now. I don't have the energy, but it would obviously do a lot of damage in lands with Blight, which, I mean, we do have. And it's Blight removal, so we can clean up the, the, the parts of the board that. Uh, uh, buddy, buddy, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Do I need defend five? I guess I could use it in C seven, but I'm not in there, am I? Oh, but it was the one that's. Wait, where is it? Range one, if you have, have an error. Two air. Yeah, I'll take Purifying Flame and we'll just try to figure it out next turn. Oops. And is Puppy getting a uh, card this turn? Is Puppy getting... <laughs> uh, probably just going to do Energy. Because I can't currently play my cards. Okay. Which means so yeah, we'll just leave it to ocean. Ocean. Um. I really don't want any of these. Because Winds of Must of Must Natch Free is from a sacred site and Ocean isn't great for getting sacred yeah. sites. Yeah. Take it anyway. Speaking of sacred sites. Uh, which six. And I went for push this turn, didn't I? You'll be able to yeah, finagle the sacred save. Yeah, I'll do that this turn, so... Anybody? Or would you like me to go ahead with green? I should place my presence. Um, I probably want innate energy now, plus get towards fire and plant. Um, I believe you wanted to put it into the mountain. Mountain 7 on your board. Yes.
I'm not sure where I want these guys to go. Uh, I mean, I have cards that obviously do things based off of Don, so I probably want to keep them close to me. Either Jungle 4 or Sand 7. I was thinking of Jungle 4 first. Alright, now I have energy. So I can do that fast. One damage, fast. Yay. Push two. Um, doesn't really work in m many of my lands. I guess I could deal with just both of the sands easily, but there's also Firestorm. Yeah, there's options. So they are averaging in mountains. Uh, there's not much I need to be able to do about that. Um, you went live twice at 7 and at 7.12. It's almost like we lost stream for a second earlier or something. Oh wait, it's jungle hungry. Oh yeah, I'm good for seeing a lot of the board from jungle hungry. <laughs> um, so three card plays. Uh, that's probably going to be a problem soon. Okay. So I need to play a moon card, which means somebody's getting perforated. Yay! Um, and defend two will make a difference. So one of my water cards. Light removal. There we go. So that's that's uh, rivers. Uh, not rivers. Greens board sorted. All right, we're all playing three cards. Yep. Kind of nice uh, symmetry there. Okay. Ready. Ready or not, here I come. Burn it all. All right. So that's what the one that pushes. That's the one that deals the damage in the fear. That deals damage in a land with blight. Split between target land and any number of your lands with blight. Actually, that just kills everything in my lands. If you proliferate me, though, I could potentially do more damage. Sure. The island might get blighted as the result, though. It's a, there is... I mean, it's a pretty good time to blight, because, or to blight the island, because, I mean, we're in the middle of stage two, so it's like we're pretty well developed. Mm -hmm. We have presents to destroy. I could go into C7. That is ravaging. Well, I guess this is also ravaging and is going to cascade. That's ravaging, that's ravaging, that's ravaging. Everywhere a ravage, ravage. Old MacDonald had a farm. I think that would help with visibility of lands, maybe. Okay. And then that's just... Oh, this is only six damage. Or six fires to three damage. Uh, but that's fine because I could do other things in the other lands. Yes. Q 
kill that guy. Threaten this guy, put him closer to the ocean. And that's wildfire. Lure of the Unknown is range two, holy crap. That does count as an ocean. Yep. Defend five, two, four, six, seven, eight. So I'd need to take a town out of C3 to have that defended. We also have a gather. Dahan take no damage. And you can use that gather to gather them into the ocean as well. Uh, you Actually, you yes. burn off pulling it out of Sun six anyway. C six. Front build. Or D seven. Probably C six. Alright. That's my stuff. Okay. Uh all of the open green is going in. Can't go in there because it Range one sacred site. Push in there and stop with double blight. Uh, Winds of Rust. to defend six. Um, so actually, you could do that. You could do nature's resilience in D5, right? Because you have a sacred site on the coast. And then you could do winds of rust in the southeast. Yes. Oh, but I guess B2 still ravaging. Okay, so... Defend six there. So you could do it in B two to save your presence. It's a bit overkill, but mm. all right. Fear card. Each player moves one explore or town from a coastal land. Hmm. But that means that ocean doesn't eat them. I know. I is sad, but that's preventing a build. I find that acceptable. Um, that prevents ravage. That's my two done. That's acceptable. Uh... Yeah, so the sands here is just too many. The other mountains are just dumb. Uh, the jungle in C1. It's a lone guy. It probably doesn't matter too much. Probably not, but uh, there's still jungle or coastlands to come up for exploring. Yeah, but there's just not... Any good things? We'll do it in this land as well. Just, you know, clear it entirely. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the island's on fire! Okay, what's up, light card? Uh, power or presence? Power destroy it. Probably the slightly better one of the two. Yep. The other one gives more blight, but forces presence destruction. So, they are now going into jungles. Uh-oh. Well, oh, before. Crap. And we pushed them in there. You told me to push them in there, and I listened to you. Seamus! Uh, 
Oh, well, we're doubly screwed, actually. Doubly screwed. Okay, so the jungle hungers. I think. I mean, doing that in the jungle right now is really good. Stops that build. I mean, you know, it also destroys all the towns and cities in that land. Well, one city, but that's the city. Um, but yeah, it also stops the build, which is the more important part. <laughs> Oh wait, that doesn't work there. Hmm. Um. Suppose I could actually push him into the sea. I'm um added energy. Nice. And I have Cooper's Town to Mortar for two. Hmm. Where do I have Four? towns? I have one in there. Guess you could have done it to stop a build in, in um. D6. Nope. But then you would have had a waste of damage. D6. No, I can't because it's only towns or cities. Oh, right. Yeah. My bad. Um. Use my stuff. I can see that, yeah. Yeah. And I remove one blade. Which the problem is, blight has been a problem in this game. <laughs> Not really. Or being in a land with blight has been yep. a problem with this game, but that's kind of always the problem with Heart of the Wildfire. So I could destroy in a in the A seven. Could also do it in D seven, can't I? No, I can't reach that. That mitigates the need to defend that land. They're building in a jungle. Um, they're building a town in D4 anyway. So probably just going to do it in A7. Just going to push that Dahan out. So where the, have they not explored yet? Wetlands. Oh, coastlands. And coastal, of course. So just don't put it in wetlands. Uh, we, I mean, I have to leave one behind anyway, but that makes sense to have, have one there. So let's put it somewhere. Put it there. Maybe it will attack the town that builds there if we don't deal with it some other means. I'm just going to convert a double blight into a single blight, even though I could convert a single blight into zero blight, but I want to keep blight in my hands. I want fire. All right, so wildfire reclaim, ocean reclaim. Uh, I could maybe get a major on wildfire now. What majors have we not seen yet? Is that the fire one? No. Isn't there one that's all fire? Blazing Renewal? Yes. That's not all fire. Pillar of Living Flame. There it is. Also, uh, right. Cousin of Lightning. So that's kind of expensive for you. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Gain a major! I got none of the fire ones! And 
None of these even have fire. There is a plant, though. I even have earth cards. No. Oh, boy. Does Ocean want to look at powers? Uh, yeah. Dang it! Actually, what I really tempted to dump here is Winds of Western Atrophy. Uh, no. And it's not really the best for you. Yeah. Well, that air is handy. Uh, my green is green gaining, getting a power. Um. I don't think Shadows is. Yeah, I think Green is. It's like immediate grab. Yeah, I can afford to lose overgrowth at night. Uh. Right. Hello, stuff by Bez. Is this a Steam implementation? Yes, it is. If you're talking about the game of Spirit Island, yes, this is on Steam. If we're talking about us playing multiplayer on it, we're actually using a second program in order to do that. But yeah, Spirit Island is available on Steam and will be available on iOS and Android tablets later this year. Um, are, you, are you going to be needing help in C4? Oh, I haven't figured out what I'm doing in C4 yet. Uh, probably, because I have no... Well, I did have a defense card, but that was my zero energy fast powers. So that's fun. Yeah, I have no defense. I only have slow powers. Oh, yeah, Blazing Renewal is the one that adds presence. That's why he took that so quickly. But also deals one damage to each town city. Uh... So it combos well with your stuff, right? Am I reading, remembering that correctly? I think so. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, neither of us are programmers. We are just streamers for this channel. But um, if you do want to see some of the developers in action, we do sometimes have John on the stream. He's not here tonight, unfortunately. Uh, but he does uh, frequently attend Spirit Island Saturdays. Uh, he always takes part, or at least mostly takes part, Tuesdays for Handelobber Live. And he will demo content for other Handelobber games before they're publicly available. I don't think he's demoed Spirit Island tablet beans on there. I know it's been being worked on, but I don't think it's been um, shown yet. But... Be sure to check out the stream on Tuesdays to see some developer stuff. And Fridays is uh, John as well. He does Sentinel's workshop development there for Sentinel's the Multiverse, trying to add in support for um, the Steam Workshop so that you can have modded decks, which I know Seamus has at least been looking into. I don't know if you've been doing the coding. Have you been doing the coding? For I that, have not Seamus? been doing coding for that yet. Um, hmm. However, I am demoing. The Cauldron mod on Mondays at the moment. 
Oh, nice. Yes, they've done an amazing amount of work. That's one of the most common things that have been asked is, can we get the cauldron on Sentinels? Uh, Sentinels Digital. And with Steam Workshop, we can! Yay! All right, so are you all done yep. with your things? All right. Shadows is definitely going energy and probably doing energy presence. I'm not sure where. Huh. A lot of these are slow powers. I could put a presence in C3 and push a town explorer out of that, but I don't know. Uh -oh. I already have the presence in C1 to push the town explorer out of that. Um, convert. And fear, of course, is cool. I'm already in a land where they're going to build a city. So that's, that's okay, working. Stuffy. Enjoy yourself. We'll hopefully see you again soon. Um, oh, and look, John is there as well. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, Monday I have something... You're fine point? Monday I have something new to demo from the Cauldron mob mod. They have music. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Seems that uh, John says something. John puts out a uh, an update to Sen to the Sentinels mod workshop stuff. The Cauldron guys just go, "Okay, here's everything for it." Okay. Oh, there's that bug where the card disappeared for wildfire. Right. I don't know what I'm doing with any of these. Vigor at least synergizes with my Dahan cards. Eh, you don't have to take the uh, Major. You can just forget it. Yeah, I know. I know. But is the Major better than other things I have here? Threatening Flames is two fear pushes and potentially more fear. You actually want to keep those cards. I mean, flash fires, honestly, is rather boring. It gives me a fire and an air, though. Yep. Which, I mean, none of these cards give me fire. But of these cards, I feel like the one that I would potentially see something from is Vigor. Because if I play... Yeah, if I play... Do you have fast yeah, powers that will move down? I do Vigor. That... And just like playing around with this for a second, if I played these, I get the threshold, right? Yeah. Okay. So is that going to be relevant in the space, though? I could do four damage in D4. <laughs> uh, I could increase that damage by one. I could take out the city and the town. Well Some bad options. It's not great, but it's not bad. I thought you said that's a bad option. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bad option. <laughs> oh, I have a land where I have presence and blight and stuff. Good. So Firestorm does something. It does two damage. Well, three with Flame Fury. Although I only I only need to do two. Uh, but there's that explorer who wants to build and be B eight. Okay, that that at least works for wildfire TBH. Uh, yeah, I, I had to rewind the presence placement in order to choose wildfire's card. I'm thinking that there's going to be some usage of purifying flame here. I guess we could remove the blight in B five. Yeah. With it, maybe I don't know. They're not ravaging there. This will remove the city that they build in the jungle. I can push the town and so, explore out of C1. Oh, uh, no, they won't be building the city in C4. Okay. There will be nothing in C4. You're going to jungle hunger. No, no, I blazing renewal. Okay, so we don't want to. You're going to blazing renewal. Oh, that only kills. Um, 
towns and cities it doesn't uh, cities. get explored. Yeah. I could target a land with Dahan. <laughs> Which, I mean, with my uh, vigor of the Breaking Dawn. It's just about anywhere. Um, and I just realized. I don't have anything to deal with C4, so I'm actually going to have to. What are you going to do? I don't know. Um, okay. You're blazing an all in there, but that'll only kill the town. Uh, okay, I can use Veiled Knight's Hunt and take care of D. So, um, actually. Oh, but that's fast. Shoot, never mind. Oh, but you could use Veil of the Night's Hunt in C4, can't you? Yes. Um, Blazing Renewal to take out the towns, and Veil of the Night's Hunt to take out the explorers. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to steal Master's Deck. There we go. Damn it, I was about to do the same. So, where are we going to veil the Night's Hunt? Um, Did you have a plan for that? Not really. It was just a case of, okay. it was there, I had to do... I had it, and I wanted the moon on it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so Blazing Renewal and Veil will take care of C4 then. Okay. Because we'll have the Dahan take out the two explorers. And Blazing Renewal takes out the two towns. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now there's no Dahan in C2. Or, yeah, there's no Dahan in C2. So I can't. Crops Wither in C2. Uh, but you might just be swallowing them at some point. Or drowning, whatever. But it's really eating, right? So... <laughs> Um, two moons gets me to this threshold, I guess. Okay. That's probably reasonable. Like, I can only deal one damage because I only have one blight in here. Because for some reason I said, hey, let's just remove the singular blight from that land. Although I guess I didn't actually do that because I did that in somewhere else. Anyway. Probably fine. Is there a place where we can do that to great effect? Uh, yeah, of course. We can take out these two explorers. Stop that build. Or even take out these two explorers and stop that build. There's options. Good. Good and good. I'm good. You good? Um, no, but I'll go with it. You're not <laughs> good? I'm pretty sure I'm missing something here. Okay, so we were going to Placing renewal on me. Okay. We're not really doing much with the ravages, I guess. Like Mike A4, I don't know what we're doing. Or C2. Or B7. <laughs> it's okay, we have 17 Blight to work with. If worse comes to worse, we could just, you know, when we had the option of removing a presence, just remove the one that's going to be removed from us anyway. Yep. Or the two that's going to be removed from me. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's, um... <laughs> there's one for uh, oceans, one for green. So that's me done. Uh, right, so I have Vigor here for just funsies. I can at least clear out most of this. Push this one there. 
Where have they not? They didn't explore wetlands, right? Yeah, so it's actually safe for me to do. No, wait, no, that's dumb. Oh, shoot. Because it'll be wetlands or uh, coastlands. Yeah, I kind of want to push there. And I was going to push this guy here to take out those two explorers, but if they explore wetlands, then they're gone. Well, actually, either which way, because it's going to be wetlands or coastlands. Coastal doesn't escalate, Oh, good though. point. So it's a 50-50. Um, probably just keep them together. And Firestorm dealing two damage plus one, which is D seven. Well, I'll take out that explorer. Oh, but I don't have the. Oh, I don't have the uh, the to air for that. Yeah, it has to be T7. I wanted to stop a build, but this is ravaging, so. And then darkness follows the unwary. Let's only gather one, shoot. Gather one, destroy two. So I guess I'm just gonna steal this guy. Okay. Okay. So I am killing persons. There, an ocean will destroy your presence. There, you're good. We'll take from the triple stack. I kind of want to forget a power. So I going can remove this presence. Not doing anything right now. Your card. Uh, move. move an explorer town from an inland land. Okay. Nice. Um. Unfortunately, oh, I guess. Oh yeah, I'll just do both of mine here. That stops that build. Okay. I've been fortunate that I've been getting the ones that say so that don't say select a different land. Um. You could potentially stop the double blight in A4. So that seems a reasonable thing to do. Um, I'm going to take it out of this one. So there's not going to be two uh, explorers there if it's wetlands on the explore. I think if they do, well, actually no, if they do wetlands, they'll still see it all. Except for B6, but they're, they're doing coastal, so it doesn't matter. I don't know why coastal is always the scary one. At least to me, it always feels scary. Uh... Because you're exploring three lands instead of two and it's not a single land type. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's one more land per board than normal, I guess, is the main part of um, it. Also, because you're getting um, a double from the Ravage and then whatever comes after Coastlands is going to double again. Or in this case, two of the, sure. two of the land types after Coastlands are going to double again. <laughs> Um, okay. Is 
is too late, remove one, and that doesn't exist right now. Explore first. No! Incorrect. Incorrect. I'm not going to have a number there. I guess I want Dahan and C1. For death by Dahan. Is there a land with a city that has Dahan in it? Doesn't look like it. No. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is the damage one. Ow. It's not the Ooh, gather part. Actually, can we just check one thing? One. How far are we from Terra Level 3? Three cards, okay. Very far! <laughs> well, well, we've almost got the uh, next card, and we're definitely getting that this turn. Yeah, it's, thir it's 33 fear. Do your things, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Push it out. Not close enough to anything useful over there. The one nice thing about that coastal turn, though, is that we should now have the middle lands empty for the most part. I mean, D5 is the most problematic, but we should be able to avoid most explorers next turn if we can deal with D5. Or if we want to deal with D5, which we're not forced to. Oh, it's only jungle weapons. Uh... Oh, that's fine. I need to go back for that. Um. Non group Iders has the cue to start, in my opinion. It does. Uh... You know what? Let's take him. Okay, that's me all done. Uh, I have one damage to put in some place where I have presence, if that's of any use to you, but I don't think it is, because I don't think there's any uh, towns or cities in any of my lands. Okay.
You can always just convert a town. Actually, this is just two fear, even if there's nothing in there, right? Okay. Which is the Dahan aren't really in good places. Yeah. And I really want to, like, favors call do into C2. But that's not going to get me the three fear there. Um. Wait, hold on a second. May I just, just check something? Sure. Um. Oh, wait, cops with them phase is range zero. Or oh, someplace with the heart. Yeah. Could gather a bunch into D five, and then crops would then fade the city. Yeah, that would work. We have no more escalation, so it doesn't matter what we do with strangling, yep. strangling, straggling Dahan. <laughs> Not strangling Dahan. What are you talking about? Perhaps with her there. Okay. And this is just ultimately going to be. Can I target this? You can. can target that. That's murdering two city, two and towns. Damage for Dahan. Or all right, that that's good enough for me. Oh, but plus one because I have Fury. Flame Fury. Yes. It was all planned. I'm happy now. I'm happy now. Okay, burn land regrows. Creepers tear? Nowhere to use it. Nowhere to use burned land regrows, but I used it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... The only inner land that has something is, well, I guess two of them. C4 and C6, not C4, whatever this land is. D? No, yes. A. A4 so, and A6. Yeah. Uh, I am reclaiming on green. I presume you're reclaiming okay. on shadows. And shadows is reclaiming, yeah. Um, he's fine, I'm going to take a minor. Elemental boom! All of the Dahan way reaching grasp. <laughs> and gift of living energy, they're all good here. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Call of Dahan ways. I always like the Gift of living energy would give a lot of energy to shadows, and then the other spirits don't really need the energy as much at this point. Yeah. Um... So they're going to ravage in the jungles, which is going to do nothing. Yay! Um, so I'm going to prep that. Let's turn there. Um, jungle is hungry. Um... We do not need to prep any um, things. So the jungle hungers is going to kill here, uh, mountain six. There is then uh, sorry, I'm just looking at everywhere that we need to do stuff. We actually have almost most of the city gone. So, Boards D and B and D are kind of okay. Mm -hmm. Um, good push. Uh, Wait, let me let shadows do something first. Okay. Shadows get a power. Go ahead. 
claim gain power. Is one energy enough for a major? Shadow is very ready to get some mages. Oh, Ocean's also. Oh, Ocean's also getting one. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that Ocean was getting one. That's why I energized. That's okay. Delusions of danger gives some elements, but there's, I guess, Savage Mob Beast gives a fire. I don't know. Um. I don't know. I guess Savage Mob Beast is zero energy, and I've kind of been really hurting for yep, energy that's here. A good reason to take it. I could get the one damage on Savage Mob Beast if I wanted. By doing this and now I'd have that one not that one I don't need that defend though but I would have that one damage I'd also have no innates so that's kind of silly I don't know all right ocean sorry for interjecting I'm gonna sit in time out for the mm -hmm. next five minutes Ooh. do I take a chance from the tsunami No, because I won't have the energy to play. Uh, that's going to be funny. And I'm pushing. Jungle Hungers does. I need another moon. If only you had another moon. Yeah. Call of the Dawn Ways! That's range one. We're now thinking about points. <laughs> uh, no, I'm thinking that that might get rid of a town, but actually it won't because there's no Dahan. No, I'm there. kidding. It's. Uh, I've, had, I've not actually used Call of the Dawn Ways in a long time, despite how much I talk about that card. So... Or not talk about it, but call it out because it's one of my favorite cards. It's really nice for drowning the board with Dahan. And it is a counter to Sweden. We're past the point where Sweden was doing that, though. But it is a counter to Sweden. We don't need that. Don't need that. And then I need something worth. Okay. And then can you get into A4 this turn? With who? Uh, with Wildfire. Wildfire? I could find a way in there, sure. I could go into C6 and then be range 1 from A4, or I could just 
What's my range three one? Gain of power, range three. Yeah, I could do that innately. Are you asking if I need the um, proliferation for that yep. or not? No, I don't need proliferation. Um... Okay, so if you can take care of that... That's all the cities gone. Um, so then it's preventing... No, we just need to journey enough fear. It's also looking Let's... at preventing builds. Because I True. think... I think we may actually be able to do it this turn without going to the next uh, fear level. We just have to get rid of all the uh, towns and cities. Ah, I see. Okay. But it's going to be slow phase. Um, so if we prevent the builds, we prevent the towns, and then we can get that terror level victory at mm -hmm. that point then. Okay. Uh, I don't think Wildfire will be able to help towards that, though, because Wildfire is not really coastal right now. Yeah, that's okay. That's why I was looking at uh, A4 going, I really can't do much there. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a Wildfire in there. Um, so that's me all sorted. Alright. Yeah, so if I do this... Which means that actually wildfire is gaining a power. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have four fires. Cool. And a plant. I'm gonna do major again. Ooh, actually I know what these majors are. Ooh, challenge of lightning. Ooh. I only have six energy though. Indomitable claim is actually hilarious with wildfire. Because yep. it's sort of more damage. that better or worse than what I have going on here? I mean... I don't know. I'm just going to go minor. Be boring. I'll be in a major next turn. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, none of the Ravages this turn are doing anything, right? Uh, nope. Unfortunately. Okay. Could just want Land of Haunts and Embers. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, push from one of those lands. Yep. Probably not the land that you're in, but that's a thought. I have to go there. And bring fire to this city of Metropolis. And this is a cascade. Uh, let's just throw it into that jungle, or that sands. Three card plays, then. Uh, range zero, light and invaders. Oh, that would just be D3. Okay, that works. And then that would take care of another one. And I could actually get three plant this turn. Oh my gosh. That does nothing for me because there's not many invaders in my lands. I'll just take Call of Migrate and find a use for it, I guess. Uh, yeah, shoving uh, the hunt anywhere that... Uh... I can make better use of Call of the Dahan Wraith. Oh, I have seven fire. Land with Blight where you have presence. Push all Dahan. Destroy all invaders. Add one Blight. Well, the problem is... No, no, you got one... <laughs> I still don't have any invaders. No, no, that's place. not true. There was one explorer in A4. Yeah, but he dies <laughs> by damage. So it's... Like, I'm going to have to go and cross this out. If I can. Can I cross this out? I thought you would just go here to cross it out. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, right. It's also Shadows. Uh, hi. My name's Shadows. 
Um, what is Shadows even doing? Things that can push guys out of the things, probably. Lord of the Unknown is good for that. Defense does nothing. Zero energy, so might as well play it. And then it's one of these things, so yeah, I have one thing that's gonna... I guess I want a moon card so I can do another gather. And I can throw some sort of push, I guess, there. Or Dahan gathering for fear. Or damage for blight. Uh, or blaze the city with a thing. Probably just dread? go with props for there. Or mantle dread. Because that gives us the most flexibility. Yeah, it's two fear. Pushes the town into the coast. That'd be three fear. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm sure there's going to be a town on the coast somewhere that we're in. So. Yep. All right. Who needs to go first, or does it matter? Um, I think we've had four, which I don't think we need. No, let's put it in here. Um, Enforcing apparitions. Defend two in this ocean. Prevents two builds. Two in the ocean. <laughs> That's two fear. That's pretty good. And then. Um. Oh, so this is the point of the game where John starts saying, I think we're just going to eventually win, so we shouldn't spend too much time thinking about all of our actions here or whatever. Probably not. Whatever bogus crap he says at this point. We're just kind of, the, the invaders are just circling the drain here. We're just trying to figure out the best way to win. Okay, go for it. Which actually, I mean, since I'm bringing it up, it kind of annoys me, honestly. Yep. A little bit. Slight bit. Because it's like, yeah, we're about to win. Well, we could also figure out how to win optimally, you know? Like, I mean, just because we're winning doesn't mean we can just, you know, start flying with our seats down. <laughs> you know, we John lost. is apparently still watching us. Alex! Um, yeah, there's different things I can do. Gather here. Gather here. And then wildfire. So can I now do this thing? Yes, I can. Uh, because I'm already just destroying everything in all my lands. I don't even have Daha in my lands. If I just wanted an extra blight, I could have done that. Speaking of extra blight. All right, you got two fear cards, 13 fear away from Terra level three. Okay, um, green, destroy presence here. Ocean, destroy presence here. That's me done. All right. Um. I have yet to use Concealing Shadows for anything other than fear. <laughs> I guess it also gives me elements, but meh. I just kind of don't want to destroy a presence in a key land. All right, two fear cards. Defend six in all coastal lands. Invaders do not build city and coastal lands this turn. Okay, that, that does that nothing. That actually does. Does it stop a city? Or stop yeah, yeah, in the mountain and um, board sea. Different land. It should go up to two. No wonder. All right, we could stop some builds. Ooh, excellent. Stuff. Like if we just target B2 and not even gather, it just wins. Okay. Do we just win? Uh. Unfortunately, this one's a little more problematic, but we could daisy chain yep. it. Um. 
So I'm going to choose this lad, bring him over, then choose this lad and bring him over again. Uh, and then none of the others will stop anything. So we're not building anything on the left side of the board? Nope. <laughs> the two left boards are absolutely clear. <laughs> left, boards are just, left boards are just entirely empty right now. Um, but kind of doesn't matter. It's just a question of where do you want the Dahan to be? If you're going like, to drown a Dahan um, or something. That's the point. Put it into A2. And then the town that gets there, I can call it to home, weighs it. Ah, ah! Perfect. Wait. Nope. Actually, no. Put uh, one into C3. Because the one there I can eat with um, Creeps, Terror, and Water. Okay. All right, so we'll have to. Uh... Okay, but that was really straightforward. Do this, don't gather. Do this, gather. Do this, gather. And then do it in C2? Uh, C3. C3. Oh, okay, well, let's try that again. But this time with more enthusiasm. Yeah! 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 And then C3. We'll just bring all the Dahan over. Alright. That was a fun jungle ravage? <laughs> yes, yes it was. Um, yeah, I'll now that build. Okay, and they explore into jungles and sands. There's a lot of places they're missing. I want to say that's pretty good. There's one sands in B. There's one jungle in Northwest, whatever that is. Okay. Yeah, so they explored there, they explored there. That's Death by Dahan, anyway. Uh, they explored into C4, they explored into A4 and A8, and then the coastal ones over here. So there weren't, there weren't too many explorers, despite it being stage three. Okay. Uncle Hunky. Seven to go. And two towns. Or we just win with the towns. Which is just going to happen. Yep. Unfortunately, oh, there's no Dahan there. you didn't do the Dahan thing. That's okay. So because because of that, we're not getting as many points as we could. Damn it, Seamus. Damn it. I care not for the points. <laughs> Unless it's 54. Welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's right, the points are like Spirit Island. Whoa! Victory! 33. Yeah. 3 and 33. Nice. Ooh! That was a bit head wrecking. But yay! Victory! <laughs> no. 
it wasn't too scary of a game no. ultimately like there were several turns where the ravages were a little out of control but we had a lot of light to work with even though we were playing with part of the wildfire yeah there was no point that i really felt like we were out of control no no we weren't which was rather pleasant it's nice to have those yeah. games because sure. you know john will be back next week and Not everything will be told be because john will be ever. here Okay, well, it's ridiculously early for me at this stage. <laughs> it's, uh, what, 2.30 yep. in the morning for you? Yeah. Well, that wraps up another fun and exciting week of Spirit Island Saturdays, where we play Spirit Island on Saturday. You guys need to start using that catchphrase in your non-lewd streams. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um... Yeah, so check out the other streams we have on this channel. Every Monday is Luck of the Seamus, every 5 p.m., where he will do what exactly, Seamus? Um, these, these days, demo the Steam Workshop Steam, uh, Mostly I've been showing off Steam Workshop, con Steam Workshop content for um, The Cauldron and playing some Aeon's End, which I really need to get better at. <laughs> Agreed. Um, every Tuesday is Handelabra Live with John and sometimes Jeremy, two of the leads of Handelabra that like to demo content before it is publicly available. Every Thursday is Dolphin's Dive with yours truly, myself being yours truly, uh, who likes to play games strategically and try to figure out ways to, fig to work out a victory given some sort of winning conditions. I am particularly good at Sentinels of the Multiverse and One Deck Dungeon and maybe a little bit of Spirit Island now. Not Aeon's End as much, though. <laughs> um, every Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, we just lost your sound. Sentinel's Steam Workshop. That's the order words. Um, yeah. Every Saturday is 7 p.m. It is 7 p.m. The name of the stream is 7 p.m. No, it's Spirit Island Saturdays, as you just saw. And every Sunday is Tales from the Archive with another letdown for some storytelling Sentinels. Sentinels of Multiverse, Bottom of the Ninth, One Deck Dungeon, and Dan's End are available on Steam, iOS, and Android, Android devices. Sp uh, Spirit Island is available on Steam and will be available on iOS and Android devices later in the year, of which there are, you know, 19 days left, but still, later in the year is the promise. And you can find more information on those games at handelabra.com. you have any closing words, Seamus? No, I think that covers everything. Great. I will see you. Until next time, it's been fun. I will see you people on Monday, I hope. Woo! Night-night. <laughs>